Okay, folks, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the um, Breathing Spaces project. Um, we were hoping to have the project well up and running by now. Um, we had three gardens lined up for um, development. Uh, well, one garden's already well underway at Chaucer House, at the back of Chaucer House. We've um, been doing a community garden project there for um, a year or so now. And we've, that's been developed really nicely. We've got like a um, little mini allotment area for growing vegetables. And we've also got like a little forest garden, uh, wildlife garden area, which uh, where we've been planting trees and fruit bushes and things like that. And that's developing really nicely. And so the idea was that um, we'd be rolling the project out to uh, two more um properties in the South End area that are managed by um, South Essex Homes and things were looking really good. Um, we recruited a number of volunteers um, from Project 49 through working with them and their guys are really looking forward to getting started on the project. Um, we bought quite a lot of fruit trees and fruit bushes and things like that that were all ready to start creating another little mini orchard, uh, community orchard area at both of the homes um metal the uh, arts people who are based at chalkwall hall they'd um given us lots and lots of wood like lots of decking they'd taken up they'd replaced all their decking so they had all this wood that was left over and they donated that to us and um, thanks a lot to andy who um delivered that that was great um so yeah, so it was all, and the, and the wood was all intended. We were going to be making compost bins. We were going to be making raised beds. We were going to be making uh, disability-friendly raised beds where people could kind of um, work at um, kind of chest height, working with plants and things like that. We had lots and lots of ideas that were all kind of ready to go. And then, of course, um, the coronavirus sort of kicked in or kicked off, and... Um, we were actually a little bit ahead with the social distancing. It was um, we were meant to have our first um, work day with the guys from Project Forty Nine, the volunteers from Project Forty Nine. They were going to come down and uh, just have a look at the site and see what we'd done at um, Chelsea House and maybe get some ideas and start thinking about how we were going to lay the beds out and this, that, and the other. And we kind of felt because you know obviously a lot of the people are kind of quite vulnerable and may have health condi health conditions at project 49 well we thought well we'll stand off for a week or so and think see how things kind of roll out and of course a week or so later we went into um full lockdown so unfortunately the whole project has had to go on um hold at least for the time being so just to kind of quickly update where we're at um, so we've had all the wood delivered, that's all kind of there, ready to go. Um, unfortunately, the trees, uh, I'll say we bought a few fruit trees, I was able to get over to Chaucer House and um, plant a couple of them. Um, not really um, in the places where I would have chosen to plant them, but it was just a matter of getting them in the ground as quick as possible, really, and we can always dig them up later. And then... I was able to um, go over to Chaucer House a week or so later, retrieve the rest of the fruit trees, which I've now um, planted on my allotment. So maybe uh, we'll just take a quick look at uh, see how they're doing, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of see what's happening there. So uh, bear with me, we'll just kind of wander across, and... Okay, it's there. Uh, Catching the last of the um, the daffodils here. Yeah. Some nice mustari uh, growing here. So yeah, here's our um, fruit trees. This is their temporary home. Um, we hope that sooner rather than later things will change and we'll be able to get them planted at the gardens where they belong.
Okay, so, sorry, it's very uh, bright sunlight here, isn't it? Um, okay, so that's just a little bit of an update on the project. Um, as I say, as soon as we can, we hope to be um, getting things up and running again on the gardens. Um, and we're really looking forward to doing that. And we think that actually the project is going to be more relevant than ever with the um, you know, both its... Uh, Benefits in terms of the uh, fresh fruit and fresh vegetables, um, and also, of course, all the uh, the social aspects. Um, we'll have to start practicing. You know, hopefully, we can start practicing socially distant gardening before too long. But anyway, that's just a little broadcast to bring you up to date with what's going on, and uh, speak to you all soon. Stay safe, folks.